Hey guys, this is the first time that I am showing you guys my corset, like corset put on rather, without the modesty panel. 100% happy that I made this decision and I hope you guys consider taking off your modesty panel too if it's kind of like bothering you or whatever. It's about 68 degrees, 69 degrees in this house. We have the air conditioner on because it's like 100 outside. So that's why I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt, but it is pretty thin and obviously kind of see-through. So we're not suffocating over here. I don't want you guys to think we're suffocating. Sometimes when I see someone wearing a long sleeve shirt in the summertime, I'm like, why are you doing that? But we all have our reasons, right? So as you guys know, this is my body modification channel. I've been wearing a corset since 2013 and I will continue to wear corsets probably for the rest of my life if, I mean, I take a break, I take a break. I have taken year long or like, I think it was three years of a break from wearing corsets and waist training in general. And if you don't know, this is just kind of a reminder that the reason why I started wearing corsets was because I was at the peak of my first weight loss journey because I have struggled with weight my entire life. Ever since I was a child, I've had weight issues. I mean, you know, you could say that it was parents' issues, my issues, just issues. You know, when you struggle with weight as a child, it's just like, who's to blame, right? Who is to blame? But anyways, so I was at the peak of my first weight loss journey and I was working at a gym and obviously working out at a gym because I was, you know, getting membership for free. And I kept wondering why I was losing weight, like in my arms and in my legs, but my stomach and waist were still kind of like taking a little while longer. Um, and then that's when I googled and came across waist training and corsets and my life forever changed. I'm gonna tuck this pink in because I think it always looks best when the shirt is not showing. That's just my opinion. Okay, hopefully that looks a little bit more seamless and prettier. I started wearing corsets because one, I was trying to obviously, you know, target a specific area on my body in order for the fat to go away. But also maybe you could say that it was part of a body disorder, body dysmorphia, whatever you want to call it. I mean, there's like a thousand and one terms for disorders these days. And I don't want to get into that. That's a whole other topic. And I know that this topic is maybe a little taboo too, or some people may, you know, comment and say, oh no, you're beautiful, you look great, you don't have to lose weight, this, that, and the other. But I mean, like, you're not me and I'm not you, and especially if you've never been fat your entire life once, or, you know, if you're okay with being fat, you're okay with being overweight, you love yourself no matter what, no matter the weight, if you were fat and healthy, like, there's just so many different channels with regard to fat loss and weight loss that I think so many people just kind of gear like everyone who thinks they're fat but don't look fat as like no you're okay you look fine kind of thing right even me sometimes if I hear someone you know chatting about how they want to lose weight because they think they're fat I'm like you're not fat but I'm comparing them to me or I'm comparing them to someone else you know it's it's always kind of like a comparison thing but yeah I'm just I'm just so tired, I'm so fed up, I'm so sick of being fat, and I'm sick of being overweight, I'm sick of not being able to control what I eat, I've tried wearing corsets in order to try to control what I eat, and you guys obviously don't know everything that goes on in my life. There are times, and I'll be real with you guys, like, I try to stay, I try to stay as real as possible with you, but sometimes it's just kind of like private, but whatever you know sometimes i do take off my corset and i will binge eat because i have binge eat binge eating is something that i have always always struggled with since i was a kid and it's still kind of you know here per se and i told you guys this in the past like my doctor told me that i have high cholesterol now because what do i do i love fried chicken i love fast food i am not gonna give up fried chicken like let's be real I'm just so fucking sick and tired of being fat. And it's kind of like, okay, well, why don't you just lose weight? Oh, well, why don't you just, you know, tighten your corset up so you don't feel the need to eat more? Well, hello, I can always loosen up my corset. Or, well, hello, I mean, I can work out, but sometimes working out is just so annoying. Like, I don't like working out. I used to love working out, 
but now I just kind of like hate it. Like it's like a chore for me. You know, I just don't want to work out. I don't want to go to the gym. If my husband or my mom aren't going to go to the gym, then I don't want to go to the gym. And I know that's a stupid thing to say. Like, you know, you should work on yourself. Don't worry about what other people are doing. I don't have an answer for you. And then the other thing is like, oh, we'll just eat healthy. Like eat more vegetables and eat more fruit and lean meats and stuff like that. Yeah, again, if you don't have binge eating or you've never been fat or, you know, you don't have any issues with weight or you're comparing your body, maybe you're a little thicker than I am or fatter than I am and you're comparing, like, I just hope that this video reaches the right side of my subscribers or, you know, the right side of the internet, I guess, because a lot of people wear corsets for, you know, different reasons. And one of mine is because of weight control, weight issues, you know? That's why I started and that's why I, you know, continue to wear my corset because of weight issues and all that. So, I mean, I can't tell you guys like, okay, well, this is the plan that I have to lose weight and I'm gonna wear my corset for X amount of days. Like, it's not that simple. Like, I've come to the realization that it's just not that simple. It's not that easy to tell myself like, okay, I'm not gonna go into the fridge and have a bowl of cherries and then two minutes later, half a gallon of watermelon and then have an ice cream cone. Like, I can't. Like I can tell myself that, but at the same time, it's just kind of like, well, I have my corset on and it is pretty tight and I don't feel full. So maybe I can fit some more food in there kind of thing. Like that's what my mind goes through. And I don't know, I mean, obviously that's kind of like an eating disorder. Like obviously, like I'm not saying it's not, you know, I honestly don't really know where this video is going. I kind of just wanted to throw it out there because I have been getting a lot of a lot more subscribers, you know, interested in corset training and wearing corsets and waist training and asking me questions about all of this and stuff. And I use corsets as a weight loss tool or right now, at least as a weight, as a weight maintenance tool. So I don't gain any more weight, but I don't want people who are going to damage their health and even like the younger kids who are interested in corset training you know less than 18 years of age i don't want them to think it's okay to corset train like oh you know i'm 15 years old and i'm 175 pounds um i should start wearing corsets like no like please do not do that if this is if this is you and you know you're watching this and you're about what i just said like don't wear corsets like you know get therapy talk to a you know a parent or you know what I mean? And I'm saying this because I have been realizing that due to like based on my analytics, there's a lot more younger people who are watching my channel and I don't want to be like one of those YouTubers who wear corsets and only talk about like the good side of corsets, but don't recognize, you know, the not so good side of corsets, you know, even wearing corsets, you know, can cause body dysmorphia. Like you take your corset off and then you think to yourself like, God damn, like I didn't know I was this fat. Let me put my corset back on. A lot of viewers who watch people like me who wear corsets, a lot of them do it. I'm not saying it's everybody, but I am saying a lot of them do it for their pleasure and their enjoyment and their entertainment because it is nice, you know, even in my opinion, it is nice to watch someone else put a corset on, see how tight they can get it. Like I like watching that kind of stuff too, but at the same time, like I don't know what they're going through behind behind the scenes, you know, like if they just had a binge eating, you know, thing and now they're putting their corset on because they want the food to hurry up and digest and, you know, they don't want to feel so bloated. Like there are so many reasons why people wear corsets and, and obviously I know I should focus on my reasons for wearing corsets. I just want to throw out these other reasons too, you know, because not everybody who wears corsets makes YouTube videos or talks about their journey wearing corsets and why they wear corsets. You know what I mean? I just, I just want this channel to be, you know, transparent as possible with regard to wearing corsets as a weight loss tool because that is primarily what this channel is about. You know, you guys know I, I tell you guys this all the time. I wear corsets for weight loss, maintenance. Like I've already said it like multiple times in this video. Back to the whole thing about like me being fat and like me being so fucking sick and tired of being fat. It's just like something that I've dealt with my entire life. And I just, you know, in today's day and age, it's like okay to be fat. Like it's, sometimes it's like cool or hip to be fat kind of thing. And it just like boggles my brain because it's like, that's not healthy. Like, I don't want to, I don't want to contribute to the mentality of, you know, skinny is better kind of thing. But 
if I, let's, have, let's just talk about me for now. If I am skinnier, I am going to be healthier. When I was in my lowest weight of like 112, 113 pounds, I'm 5'2", by the way. Like I was, I was the healthiest. I had the most amount of muscle mass because I was working out. You know, I was eating about 1200 calories, 1300 calories a day, sometimes up to 1500 calories a day. But I was at like a good, like ma maintaining, wait i just i just want to create a safe space for people to talk about because there are a lot of women on my channel who i've noticed based on their photos and what they comment about or what they message about or email me about or whatever like they're having similar situations that i've gone through and am going through right now which is you know wanting to waist train and wear corsets in order to lose weight i just want to let you ladies know like it's not always so easy and so simple as just putting on a corset and losing weight. Like you're not putting a corset on your brain. You're still gonna have those days and those feelings and emotions that come up where you like wanna go downstairs or wanna go to your kitchen and you know, binge eat cause you feel some type of way. Or even sometimes like when I get like mean comments, the first thing I wanna do is go eat. And it's just like, no, like, that's not healthy that's not healthy and you know what else isn't healthy getting a mean comment and tightening up my corset like that's not healthy either what is healthy is maybe kind of getting an understanding of where that person is coming from and why they're targeting me and lashing out at me and you know my body image or what i'm doing in the video and things like that and just having i guess empathy for them and for myself i need to have more empathy for myself and i think the majority of women and men who wear corsets for the reasons that I've mentioned in this video, besides, you know, fashion and just wearing it to put on, um, just putting it on to take pictures and stuff, like for body modification reasons, I think that we all need to like realize like maybe we're using this as a tool to, you know, fix whatever is up here but at the same time, like we also need to focus and fix whatever is up here rather than just putting on our corset and being like, okay, whatever, like right now I look really snatched, but when I take this off, like that's gonna be a whole nother story. Or like, okay, I'm gonna wear my corset for 20 hours today and then I'll eat kind of thing. Like I've, I've heard of stories like that before too. And it's just like, but why? Like why do that to yourself, you know? And I've done that in the past too. I'm not saying I'm, um, an angel like I've done things like that in the past too, you know, like sometimes I'll take off my corset or sometimes rather I don't want to take off my corset in the morning if I slept with it during the night because I'm like, well, I already slept with it I don't want to, you know, eat and then feel full and feel the need to tight to loosen my corset Let me just have my coffee, which we all know decreases appetite, right? And then it gives you like a nice rush and I want to tighten up my corset because I'm feeling extra skinny because I haven't eaten anything and I just woke up and then I don't eat anything for like until 5 p.m. Some may say that that's intermittent fasting, but it's also like a form of starvation, you know? Like we're not living in a day and age where food is limited and you can't get access to it, you know? Like food is everywhere. Oh, another thing is, I know I'm jumping all over the place with this video, but I hope you guys can keep track because especially if you're a subscriber of mine, you kind of already know that I talk like this. Another thing is that when people say, just eat intuitively, like I've tried that. I've even mentioned to you guys that I've tried to eat intuitively and that's bullshit. Like being someone who has, you know, dealt with binge eating like majority of my life and then starving myself for the remaining of my life, like there's no intuitivity with regard to eating. Like intuitively right now, intuitively, I wanna order pizza, you know? I wanna go to Krispy Kreme Donuts. You know, that's intuitively speaking. I don't wanna go and get a salad. Like, that's just another thing. I think that everybody's always like, count your calories, eat intuitively, work out, live a healthier lifestyle. Like, it's easier said than done. Like, yeah, obviously when you start, that's the hardest part, but I've started like 12,000 times. And this is just my 12,001th 
time this 12,001 a word i'm gonna start again i'm gonna start over and i'm make, just making this video because i just want you guys to know like corset training and waist training especially for those of you who are younger like is not the end all be all like don't put on a corset and waist train and tighten your corset up as much as possible just so you don't feel the need to eat or you eat less and I know I say all the time that I wear corsets so that I can lose weight and that so that I can not feel hungry because when you do wear a corset, like I'll be real, like when I wear my corset, I don't feel my hunger pains as much because there's pressure on, you know, there's pressure on your organs, you know? Right now my stomach just growled, but I think that's because I haven't eaten anything since 11 o'clock this morning and it's like 5 30 6 o'clock something like that i don't know and i mean i could say like oh i was running errands i j i drank water but like let's be real like i could have brought some snacks with me i could have brought some carrots with me but there i go again you know i'm just making this video for anyone out there who has struggled in the past or is currently struggling struggling or thinks that they will be struggling if they start wearing corsets like just do it to the best of your ability and when i say do it to the best of your ability i mean that like do it to the best of your ability, not my ability or the girl on Instagram's ability or, you know, your what your friends think you can do ability. Do it to the best of your ability, you know? And if it takes you, you know, six months to start seeing results, that's fine. If it takes you six weeks to start seeing results, that's fine too. Just be easy with yourself and give yourself all of the, you know, great affirmations and look at yourself in the mirror every day and tell yourself you're beautiful with and without your corset. And I should definitely take my advice right now. So send us, you are beautiful. You always have been and you always will be with and without your corset. And don't you forget that, girl, love you. I am going to go eat something. I kind of want watermelon right now. So I'm probably gonna go eat some watermelon and let me know in the comments what you think about this video and if you have anything negative to say let me know in the comments down below too i don't ever usually delete any negative comments i just kind of learn from them oh but don't comment you don't need to lose any weight please don't comment that because that's just kind of like you weren't paying attention you know so i love you i'll see you soon